Hello and welcome back to Ember's Artwork. Today we are going to work on a Ramiro Brito inspired heart. We're going to start off by drawing some hills for our landscape. We're going to draw a curved line on the left and we're going to mirror that on the right about halfway down. We're going to start our curve and it's going to come back and touch that first curve. So we have two hills for our landscape. The landscape is a picture of the land. It's outside. In the middle, we're going to draw a curve, and this is going to be our sun for our picture. And right above the sun, we're going to start drawing our heart. We're going to draw a letter V for the bottom of our heart. On top of the V, we're going to connect it with the lowercase m. Curve. And curve. We now have a heart above our sun. We're going to add the sun rays. We're going to touch the sun and go all the way to the edge of our paper. We need at least four lines, but more is okay. And it is okay to go through your heart. That's going to make more sections that you can add more patterns later. So I have my four lines for my sun rays. Remember, more is okay. And now you're going to get to decorate your picture. Each section that we created is going to be filled with different lines and shapes. I'm going to share with you the way I decorated mine, but remember you can use any line and shape to decorate your picture. It does not have to look like mine. Make your picture your own. On mine, I did some straight lines on the hill, filling up that whole space with a certain pattern. And then I made some polka dots on my other hill. I added some curved lines in my sun rays, making each section a different pattern. I made some straight lines and some more polka dots in this section, some straight lines in this part of the heart, and some flowers because Ramiro Brito uses a lot of flowers in his pictures. And some more straight lines and some more flowers in this section of the sun rays. I left my sun blank because Ramiro Brito did in his. And when you get done adding your patterns, you're going to color in using any colors you want to. So for mine, I did the base color first. Since I'm drawing digitally, this is easiest for me to color this way. I wanted my sun rays to be warm colors, and I wanted my heart to be pink and purple, and I wanted my round to be nice and green for the grass. And then I'm going in and adding the opposite pattern color on top of my base color. What colors and patterns will you add to yours today? I cannot wait to see what yours will look like. Thank you for watching, and have fun arting.